One of the questions that I've been asked a lot over the years has been, which island has the prettiest Filipinas? Well, the good news is it doesn't matter which island you go to. They all have beautiful Filipinas. Now, some guys will tell you, oh, you got to really just go to the north or you really got to go to the south or all the pretty ones are in the Visayas. I can understand how some guys would be convinced of that because they have a certain preference combined with the fact that regionally there are some minor differences. Because again, remember, a Filipina might be born on one island and her family transfers over to another island. My wife is a perfect example of that. She was born in Cebu, but then quickly her family relocated to Samal Island, and then from there relocated again to Davao. So when I saw who is now my wife in Davao, that was not necessarily representative of all the women in Davao because she was originally from Cebu. Now, I mentioned that there are some generalities when it comes to the regions. For instance, if you look back on the history of the Philippines from roughly 1940s till now, especially in the 1940s, when the American bases were there, a lot of American men were stationed at these bases and, of course, married and had children with the Filipinas of that area that were nearest the base up in the northern region, specifically Subic Bay. And so if you think about genetic influence, the Filipinas that are the offspring of those unions will have some of the Western characteristics. They might be a little bit taller. They might be a little bit more large-breasted. To some degree, this also applies to the Cebu area because in the last 20, 25 years, civilian Americans and Europeans and Australians have landed in Cebu and, again, affected the gene pool. Whereas if you go to an island that's kind of out of the way, like let's just say Iloilo or Palawan, there's a very low impact in those other remote areas where expats don't really go in huge droves. And so what you come across is a Filipina that's more indigenous. Now, another thing I've noticed, and I've, I've talked to other expats about this, is that as I spent time in Davao, and you could maybe relate this to much of Mindanao, as I went about the malls and I walked about the streets and recalled the various women that I dated in Davao, what I began to notice is that there were very few Filipinas taller than five foot one. Now, if you look across the entire Philippines, the average height, you could say, is about five foot five. But when you get down to Mindanao, what I found is that it was rare I found one that was over five foot one, five foot two. It was far more common to run into a petite or short Filipina in high numbers there in Mindanao versus Cebu, Bohol, or other areas. Now again, we're talking about generalities because every single island you go to, you can find a tall Filipina. Every single island you go to, you can find a short Filipina. Now another preference that guys have talked about is they said, well, which one has the darkest Filipinas? Because they really like the Morena skin. If I was to break it down again into regions, there is a tendency in the larger cities for women to want to be as light as possible, light skin, because in these larger metro areas, there's a big push and pressure and bias and favoritism towards a light skin Filipina or Filipino, especially when you're talking about administrative jobs or jobs that deal with the public. In all of the advertising and the famous actors, Filipino actors and singers that you will see in the Philippines, you begin to notice very few of them are dark skin. Most of them are light skin. So when you talk about areas like Manila and Cebu, it's a very positive place 
for a Filipina who is light-skinned to carve out a life for herself in a more professional occupation. Conversely, you go into the hills, the mountains, the very small islands, and it really is not a negative thing to be dark-skinned because pretty much everyone is fairly dark-skinned, medium to dark. Being as how they're in a rural area, they also will be more likely to spend time outdoors. The quote-unquote province girl is going to be spending more time out at the beach and outdoors than your average city girl. So you have to take into account, are they dark because they were genetically born with a higher level of melanin in their system, which is what gives you the darkness? Or is it because they spent a lot of time outside? It's a combination of the two. You can have a Filipina that works in an office all the time, and she's morena, dark skin. And you can have a light-skinned Filipina out in the province who's probably going to get sunburned a lot if she spends a lot of time outdoors, but she's not going to get that dark. It's the whole nature versus nurture environment argument. The other thing that has to be taken into account when somebody asks, well, which island has the prettiest Filipina? Well, what standard are you using? Because you can collect 10 different guys in a room and they may not even agree on what constitutes a 7, an 8, a 9, a 10. Each one is assessing women based on their own personal preferences. I've had plenty of conversations with guys over the years and we just agree to disagree. Some guys like women with really big butts. I don't. Some guys only like tall taller women because they are tall and they feel awkward with a short woman. I can understand that. To some guys, she's not really attractive unless she's got a little bit of meat on her, a little chunkiness. So you really can't nail down where all the prettiest women are on which island when you can't even nail down, well, what's a 10 in one guy's eyes and what's an 8 in another. Now, what I have shared with many many, many comments that have come in about the images that you see even right now on the screen, which again, for the record, are created with AI. I create each image individually from scratch using AI software. AI is still trying to figure out what a Filipina looks like. Filipinas kind of cover a spectrum because of its history with the Middle East, China, United States. So there are varying looks and AI can't always nail that down. If I ask it to give me a Colombian woman, a Mexican woman, a Japanese woman, a Korean woman, it can pretty much nail that down. So a lot of guys have looked at the images on the screen and said, well, I can't believe that all the Filipinas when I get there are going to be that pretty. Well, that's good that you don't expect that because that's not reality. What is closer to reality is on the one hand, do Filipinas, like in the images here, really exist in the Philippines? The answer is yes. In fact, there are times when the AI gives me an image and the first thought is, oh my gosh, that looks like so-and-so that I dated three years ago or five years ago or seven years ago. So these women do exist, but let's talk about percentages. If I was to ballpark it based on 11 years of being in the Philippines, constantly dating various women, Women, I would put it at approximately 6% of the Filipinas that you will see when you're in a big crowd, 6% by most guys would be rated a 7 through a 10. 6%. Now, again, you have to keep in mind, some guys, the prettiest woman that they will ever cross paths with is a plain Jane 5. That's the kind of woman he's looking for. He doesn't want glamorous, cute, or sexy. He he wants a plain Jane woman with some conservative values. But if you were to put it in percentages, I'd say 6% are what most men would consider a 7 through a 10. And the 10s, which would resemble what you see in the video here, only make up maybe 1%. Now, some guys have said, no, I've never seen a Filipina look that good. Well, do a YouTube search on videos that cover the Philippines beauty pageants, and you will find that 
that yes, these nines and tens do exist. Now again, I would say the tens are roughly 1%. One out of 100 Filipinas you run into randomly is going to be a 10 or a 9. So don't get off the plane thinking you're going to be surrounded by the women that you see in the AI images here. They do exist, but not all of them. Again, I put it at roughly 6%. There's also the observation that a good majority of the former Miss Universe winners have been Filipinas. But here's the catch. The majority of those, in fact, all the cases that I can think of from the top of my head, and I have looked at the images of the previous Filipina Miss Universe winners, they tend to be half Filipina, and then the other half Australian or German or whatever. I believe the most recent one, her name was something like Pia Wurzbach, which is not exactly a Filipino last name. So the good news is, yes, there are beautiful women on every single island you go to. If you're patient, you will run into that 6%, or again, depending on your standards, you'll be bumping into beautiful women every day based on what it is you're looking for. The majority of Filipinas are slender. Now, yes, over the last decade, fast food has taken a toll on some Filipinas, but in the United States, obesity is at least at 33%. One out of three women you run into in the United States is overweight. Whereas in the Philippines, you get 100 women at random in the mall in their 20s, and I would put the obesity rate at more like 12%, not 33. So your odds of finding an attractive woman are extremely high. And here's the best and final point on all this. Not only are there so many beautiful women in the Philippines, because I could go down to Malibu Beach there in California or Venice Beach or San Diego and Belmont, which I've spent a lot of time there. I saw beautiful women all the time. Problem is they're not very approachable. In the Philippines, you've got all these attractive, wonderful, beautiful women. And if you walk up and say hello, they are very approachable. They will have a conversation with you. And if they're single, nine times out of 10, you ask them for their phone number. Number, they'll give it to you and go out on a date with you. Try that at Rodeo Drive. Try that at Malibu Beach. It's not going to happen. But in the Philippines, to answer the question, there is no island that has the monopoly on beautiful women. They are on every single island.